guys, so today I'm going to show you how to render. Um, so, you want to go to your profile, and then you have to make sure you have your book, click Asset Downloader, and once you have that, you're going to click here, and this, and it should appear here. And if you don't have Clip Roblox with Asset Downloader, I will leave a link to that so you can download it. So, once you click this, it should bring you up to here, where your character. And then you can move your limbs, model it if you want, or you can do it on Blender. So, once you've done that, go to, click on your player under Workspace. Right click, and click Export Selection. Now, you want to you wanna save it on desktop so that it's easy to find. So, I'm going to name it... Hi. Okay. So, save. And then, you want to... Oh yeah, go to Blender. And then, here, let me show you quickly how to do this. Okay, so you're going to appear with this in a block. And you want to click Delete. And then click OK. So, go to File. Import Wavefront and then go to desktop and then search for your file which is mine is here. Hi and you wanna click let's select the OBJ file. Okay, so to move like this just to quick just to quickly show you the movement and steps. Okay, you wanna use your scrolling thing from your mouse and like click on it and drag it. And you can do it like that. So, back to this. Um, get the character here. Um, put it in a place where you can easily see it, like this. And then you have your camera, your light. Okay, so to get the texture, you go to this plus sign. Scroll down. Under shading, select texture solid. And then you'll have your... Your... Um, your texture into your character. Okay, so you can pose it whichever position you like to pose it. Just regular. Just like that. Just have fun with it. Don't complicate yourself with like harder poses. Just if like, you're new to this. So, um, just move it a little bit if you want. Just do whatever you want. Okay. You want to move the head too if you want. Just select all your hats. Do you want to do that? Um, press shift. Select your one of your hats. Select your head. Your other hat. And your hair. And then, once it's selected, you can rotate it. So that it rotates everything. So once you've done that, you want to go to your circuit camera and click press 0 on your keypad. Not the numbers on the top, on top of the letters. The keypad. If you don't have that, you can either go to view and camera and it'll be the camera so you want to pose your camera so what you can do is you can either move it you can rotate it if you want you can rotate it whichever way you want or and you can move it up and down and put it like in front of your character or it's an easier way just just to um just to not complicate yourself with these and try to adjust it right camera press shift f and then with w a d s you just move around and try to like make a pose so say i want to like this i want to do full body so i'm going to do that Okay, so this is your lab light, whatever point it's called. So, can, let's say you want to put the lighting above your head. And then you go to this little camera. 
do a little camera. Okay. And then click render. And then you'll you'll see that the light is only hitting here because you placed the light here. So, but you don't I don't think you really want that, so I'm gonna adjust it. I don't want it like this. No, it's not, yeah, I'm gonna face it. And then, and then click render and then it still looks like this. But if you want to fix it, you can always choose different types of lighting. So this little thing is this because you have it. So I'm going to click on that. And then the different types. There's a sun, there's spot, there's honey, and there's area. Area is really, really light. So mm, this one's kind of normal. So you can use honey. And then you can adjust it. I'm gonna hit it. The body maybe. Wherever you want it to hit the light, the light's good. So, just, just so. <laughs> okay. So, um, you want to put it here for a render. You should have to look that. So, That's how you make it look brighter and everything. One thing that I could tell you is like a little trick thingy and a way to make your thing look better. You can select a lens, go to this triangle here, and then unselect, like uncheck it, uncheck audience mode, and then do that for every, for every lens, body part. It should like look different, it look like smoother, kind of, and shinier, something like that. Like shinier and like, different. So, so yeah. And you can obviously have fun with the lighting. Um, you can change the color. If you want like, purple, light like purple, you can change it. Like the light color and I'll be like that. So, um, yeah. And if you don't want to use the light, you can delete it. And you want to make sure you go to Earth, this little Earth here. Scroll down and check ambient occlusion and environmental lighting. So when you render it, it'll look like that. It's like regular and I feel like this looks really nice. But I also like the lighting too because I don't know, there's like a different effect. So you can use that. And uh yeah. You can also put like a background like a wall and a ceiling so it doesn't look like grey. Or you can put a transparent if, if you're gonna like edit it later. With another background, you go to render, open GL render options, and then go to alpha mode, and check transparent. But when you render, your whole thing is transparent. You can see that. So, I want to add a wall and a um, the ground, so I'm going to put it on the bottom. And then put this to make it bigger. And 
que pegou, hein? Thank you.